wings and ruffled feathers, you were always the red herring. Only worth chasing down until you figure out that your facade is just a distraction. Beautiful face with a broken heartbeat. You've always had a regular breathing. With a skip, 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 skipping record pulse. Chasing insults down your throat with alcoholic memory blockers. It was just this once. It was just this once. Just this once. Disillusion is just another form of ripping out innocence. I know it hurt, little bird, when they said that you were spawned from the devil because they, because you told them that you let serrated blade cut porcelain skin. I know the salt in your wounds is settling after they tore you from their cookie cutter family projection. You were their first daughter, their first daughter, their first daughter. Little bird, answer me when I ask you why you let your problems bottle up behind bottleneck text messages and that one last drop you crave so desperately one last time, one more time, one more time. Why do you love the scent of self-destruction? What's your favorite shade of denial? Because it seems you wear it so often, I don't even recognize your honesty anymore. You mask the truth with pretty little lies because those are so much easier to admit to yourself, right? Just one more time, I promise, I promise, I promise, just this one last drink. Birdie, why am I always shouldering your problems like the mother you were never provided with? Why is it that I have to reprimand an adult for being a child? I was never ready to be the mother of a person not one year my senior, but you just can't keep you from yourself. And I'm left waiting up for you to get home safely. I'm always the one left scarred and bruised with your disregard for my feelings. What do I know? I'm only human, right? I'm always the one you disobey with your thoughtless actions, with your easy outs and quick solutions. Just another disappointment to add to the tally on, the, on my metaphorical motherly instinct, little bird. Stop barricading yourself and pretending that you don't have a problem. This constant evading of tough questions will get you nowhere, Birdie. These tricks are for kids, and Monopoly money doesn't bail you out of federal prison. Lying is a sin, little Birdie. Free Bird, you always succeed in bruising my better judgment. Splitting your skin for something you can control, honey, you have an addictive personality. Craving a new compulsion to add to your collection, throwing me under the bus because you don't like what I'm telling you, little bird. This is just another abusive relationship and you don't even see it. You've left me blooming with bruises, lacerations to my skin because I know I could have done more to save you from yourself. You're cracking like a fire now. Splitting and flaming and tearing yourself open and to let liquor fill the wounds. The sting you so pavlovianly associated with detachment is the only thing you listen to now. But I'll keep picking up the pieces of every broken promise you ever left me with. I'll keep scarring my hands by holding them closer. What's one more cut among thousands? What's one more promise I'll hold till it breaks like the respect I built up for you? What's one more time? I guess we both have these addictive dispositions. I've always been drawn to people who need someone to tell them no. I can't stop myself from running back to these situations that leave me battered and broken. I guess I need to feel the sting of ignorance, strip myself of naivety because it's just going to hurt me in the long run. I've been in too many of these rock'em sock'em robot battles and I can't think straight. I've always held you up, little birdie. And I'm not blaming you for not noticing. I just wish I had someone to patch up my scraped skin like I'd always done for you. Tell me, little bird, why do the people we love always hurt us the most? <laughs>